In the last 12 months, the U.S. and Ukraine collaborated to equip the Ukrainian Air Force's outdated fighter jets with advanced American weaponry. In September 20, 22, the Ukrainian Air Force caught the world's attention by disclosing that they were utilizing AGM-88 high-speed anti-radiation missiles produced in the U.S. These missiles were launched from MiG-29 and Su-27 fighters to target Russian air defense radars, allowing Ukrainian aircraft to operate with a degree of safety in a perilous battlefront. Last December, the U.S. government announced that it would supply Ukraine with the precision-guided weapons, known as Joint Direct Attack Munitions, or JDAM, which were intended to grant Ukraine a rapid and effortless means of carrying out precision-guided aerial bombing missions with the aid of GPS satellite signals. Politico reports that after four months have passed, the U.S. government is now of the opinion that the bombs are being impacted by Russian efforts to jam their guidance systems. The JDAM is a prime illustration of enhancing older, less advanced weapons through modern technology. It is a package that incorporates a GPS Sorry. receiver, a computer processor, and controllable fins for bombs. This package is attached to low-cost, unguided bombs such as 500-pound Mark 82, 1,000-pound Mark 83, and 2,000-pound Mark 84 bombs, and the ultimate outcome is a system of precise guided weaponry. However, according to recent reports, the JDAM that were supplied to Ukraine and manufactured in the U.S. have not been successful in hitting their intended targets. So, why is this happening? The JDAM bombs are prepared for deployment on planes in the same way as other bombs. Once the plane is airborne, the pilot can input the GPS coordinates of a ground target into the JDAM's computer system. The plane will typically climb to a high altitude to enable the bomb to glide farther to the target and then release the JDAM. The bomb will then head straight for the specified coordinates, using its fins to make adjustments to its course as it falls through the air and usually striking within 15 feet of the target. However, this accuracy is not guaranteed when using JDAM in Ukraine. According to classified U.S. government documents that have been leaked, the Ukrainian JDAM failing to hit their intended targets is mainly due to Russian electronic warfare tactics, particularly radio jamming. The same issue also seems to extend to guided rockets, including the GMLRS rockets launched by M142 HIMARS rocket trucks. The Russian electronic warfare jamming was reported to repeatedly cause these JDAM, which use an add-on kit to turn regular aerial bombs into accurate weapons, to fail during military operations. This claim is widely believed since Russia is widely regarded as the most powerful nation globally when it comes to interfering with communications on the battlefield. The Russian military is acutely aware of the West's use of precision-guided weaponry, particularly those guided by satellites, and has made significant efforts to counteract this advantage. Russia has taken the lead in developing GPS jamming technology and maintains five electronic warfare brigades for battlefield jamming purposes. A confidential report labeled Secret titled Why Are JDAM ER Failing BDA from Recent Strike investigates the causes of the JDAM ER bomb's ineffectiveness in Ukraine's battlefield. The document mentions two potential reasons behind the bomb's malfunction. Firstly, the bomb's fuses might not be armed accurately although the Ukrainian Air Force has reportedly fixed this issue. Secondly, there have been problems with GPS signals, which may have resulted from Russian jamming efforts, causing some bombs to miss their targets. Russia frequently employs GPS jamming within its own borders, as well as in neighboring countries and in areas where Russian forces are deployed overseas. For example, in December 20, 22, Wired magazine reported that GPS signals were being disrupted in Russian cities. The jamming was a response to Ukrainian drones targeting Russian air bases within Russia and was intended to confound the drones, which relied on GPS navigation to reach their objectives. Russian GPS jamming in Syria, aimed at safeguarding military installations, has led to service disruptions as far away as Turkey, Lebanon, Israel, and Cyprus. In a 2018 visit to Ukraine, Local jamming was even employed to protect Russian President Vladimir Putin and his entourage from drone attacks. To what happened recently in Ukraine regarding the JDAM's failure, 
It is likely that the following scenario, as suggested by Popular Mechanic, is taking place. A Ukrainian MiG pilot involved in a bombing mission inputs the GPS coordinates of a ground target into a JDAM bomb. As the plane approached the Russian front line, Russian air defense radars detected its presence and alerted nearby electronic warfare units. These troops activated their powerful jammers such as Krasuka-4, Pol-21E or R-330ZH Jetel, which transmitted signals on the GPS frequency, drowning out the satellite's radio signals. As a result, the bomb, which relies on GPS signals to navigate, became disoriented and missed its intended target. But is there any neglected aspects of the situation? The JDAM bombs have an inertial navigation system, or INS, as a backup, which is expected to guide the bomb within 90 feet of the target about half the time. This level of accuracy is sufficient to destroy non-hard targets such as fuel and ammunition dumps, light-armored vehicles, artillery, and pose a threat to enemy infantry. Instead of the scenario mentioned above, there are several potential explanations for the misses. One possibility is that the JDAM are being used against armored targets like tanks and bunkers that require precise hits that INS is unable to deliver. Another possibility is that the Ukrainian fighter jets using JDAM do not have the backup INS capability. A third possibility is that the bombs are being dropped at such a low altitude that they do not have the necessary flight distance to correct course after losing GPS, preventing them from landing close to their targets. The leaked report also notes that the GPS signal issues have affected Ukraine's guided multiple launch rocket systems in a comparable manner. However, according to the director of the Joint Navigation Warfare Center, GPS jamming should not have influenced the JDAM ER strikes concerning the target location in relation to active Russian jammers, based on their analysis. The leaked documents have raised concerns about Ukraine's ability to defend its airspace and regain lost territory, leading the Pentagon to investigate their authenticity and potential tampering. Russia's advanced electronic warfare technology and skilled operators have been known to disrupt GPS signals, including those used by Ukrainian drones to locate and target enemies. A Ukrainian intelligence official previously revealed the severity of GPS jamming in certain areas of Ukraine, and Russian troops have also jammed radar communications of Ukrainian drones, hindering their ability to identify Russian artillery. Western experts have acknowledged Russia's capability to precisely jam GPS signals in certain areas, as demonstrated in northern Norway without affecting Russia's own GLONASS satellite navigation system. But what do you think the most reasonable cause of the JDAM's failure? That's all for today. Thanks for watching.